So, what do you do when you are uh, basically or so aggravated that you can't think because you didn't pick up in big letters no back straps? Hey, you make a video, right? All right, so this is Zip Liar Draw. Now, needle nose pliers. These here are Kleins, I believe. Well, it's been a while. I do believe these are older Kleins. And they stay in my box because they're good. They're really good. This here. Yep. The old school a snap on. They're okay. I hope snap on got a lot better. I can tell you that much because damn. That's what they had back in the day. It's like an it's like an octopus octopus. Nanet 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 nanet. Right? Wouldn't you be scared if you saw that and you were in a submarine? <laughs> These are my duck bills. I think these are fullers. I don't know if they ever came with handles. All right. Um, duck bill pliers usually used for safety wire. And the machining in this is, is very smooth. And I prefer these for safety wire, and I'll show you why. Because these are the craftsmen that they made us buy when I went to A&P school. Notice the difference? Huh? 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 Used. 20 years old. 20 years old. Look at that. Don't like them. See what I mean? They mar up your safety wire. So... These are good for safety wire. And that's what I prefer is those. No handles and all. This here had these for about ever. And um decent cutters. I need I need to give them a little TLC. Don't know exactly what these are, but I have, or I had two sets. Wow, well, I gotta soak those in some oil. That's not cool. Thing is, once you get um, pliers rusty from leaving them in storage and whatnot, the cutters don't work. And I have a pair of safety wire pliers that cost me a buttload of money, and I should have learned that years ago. All right, uh, snap-on cutters. Decent set. Not the, um, the high-reach set, you know, the big long ones. That's all right. These Kleins, I mean these um, Crescents. Are these Crescents or are these Kleins? Eh, you know you're getting old when your tools are all rusted and... Don't get used. They're either Crescents or Kleins. I love these things. Zip ties. You've never cut a zip tie unless you've done this. And cotter keys. Don't stand a chance. Nip X. Anybody knows Nip X? They know these are old. Good little cutters. Don't abuse these. Use them for what they are intended for. I think the toughest thing I've cut with these is maybe, yeah, quarter inch cable at the most. Not the greatest cut with quarter inch cable. But they do eat some stuff up. Don't know what you'd call these slip joints. 
Never really used them. But they live in my box because. Because, man. Because. Then, adjustables. It's the whole set. And these are uh, crestants. These are croissants. These are my croissant adjustables. Just like my angly needle nose. This is what happens when you get your uh, your junk stuck in a vice, I guess. Somebody says on this internet here, they say, keep something in a vice. Well, I guess I kept something in a vice because, damn. Everybody's got these. Never really used them. <laughs> Cheapo set of... Uh, snap ring pliers, hog ring pliers, and other people call them king rings, I believe. This is the cheapest set on the planet. It comes with three different jaws. It works on this little, like, I don't know what you'd call that, spring lock mechanism. You flip that around. And they're not that bad. And in fact, if you pay attention, I've actually used these one time, just once. Just once, I tell you, as a spanner for a split ring. And you know what? Eh, it worked. Did I need the right tool for the right job? Yeah. Did I listen to anybody? No. Did I do it anyways and hog it up? Probably. Okay, everybody needs one of these in their toolbox. A wee little piston. These were the Shiznaya back in the day. And you know what? Can't find them anymore. A little clip. No. Dead battery? Aha. No dead battery. Or both. Uh-oh. Battery's dying. Um, they are... I want to say Pelican. And they're fireproof and basically explosion proof and whatnot. You could bring those into a fuel tank if you wanted, I guess. If you really wanted. Sheet metal channel locks. Uh, vice grips, sorry. I only buy vice grips. I don't buy any other brand. Dealt with all the other brands, only buy vice grips. Don't cheap out on vice grips. Speaking of vice grips, I, I prefer this type of jaw. Okay, as you can see, oh, got somebody living there. That's all right, we'll evict him. I do have a set of those jaws, not a fan. Oh, look, two sets. Three sets. Oh, my. didn't I just say I don't own those? Oh, that's right. I lied. Oh, God. That's ugly. Those are schnapple. Those are schnapple. All right. Vice grips. Vice grips. Oh, how'd that get in there? You don't live there. You know I'm going to pick that up and put it back in. Just because I got no other place to put it. Now we're talking about vice grips. Anybody know what these are? Okay. These here are BJM... Oh no, BMG Manufacturing Company out of Binghamton, New York. These are number sevens. These are Vice Grips grandfather. This guy used to make toys. I believe like pedal cars or steel toys back in the day. And he started making these and they took off and he stopped making toys. In fact, if you can find his pedal cars, his toys are supposed to be worth a buttload of money. But, 
I just need to get a little lost the time radiance there. And I keep them around because, damn, they work really good. B, they're collectible. And C, you know what? They're Vice Grip's granddaddy. And I think that's a cute little family photo. Well, except for the bastard child. We divorced him. And everybody needs, if they can get it out, a Ford wrench. I believe it's called a Ford wrench because they used to come with new Fords. Um, I don't know. Some people call them monkey wrenches. I don't know. It's just an adjustable wrench to me. It's older than dirt, but it's handy. Cutting, cutting pliers or snips. I only deal with whisks or WISS, W-I-S-S. Uh, you can see, yeah, yeah, I've cut some stuff I shouldn't probably. But that's what I like. I like the WISS. Any other name brand? Garbage. Cannon plug pliers. Oh, God. Uh, you've seen better days, haven't you? Oh. These are some snap-ons. Some people call them water plump pliers. I don't know. I don't care. The world's oldest pair of safety wire pliers. If you don't know what they do. That little lock. Put that around some safety wire. Pull this back. It locks in. You pull that out. And it twists wire. When you let your tools get rusty, they don't cut any mold. These have a sweet spot. I happen to be the only one who knows how these work. So, it's always back here if you have to work with me. Ah, cheap pair of uh, hydraulic line benders with other dog. Oh, don't talk about that. Tried these out, was not happy. See that cheap set? Use that a lot more than those blue points. Like I said, guys, try things out. If they're cheap, 